All right, now we are in the mainline pipe with our 4K camera. So the first thing we have to do before we can get started here is we actually have to set the path for all of our scan images to be saved. So we're going to come up here to configure and set path. So this is going to bring up our directory. So I actually have already kind of created a folder on my desktop. I called it Panorama Training. But I do want to go ahead and make another folder here. So I'm going to right click and go to new. And I'm just going to name this section 01. Just to keep everything nice and organized. So I'm going to click off of that. I'm going to actually go into this folder. And I'm going to click select folder. So this is going to just confirm that I want to save it into the Panorama training folder inside S01. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that does appear here at the top bar as well. So this kind of tells us where our scan is going to be saved. So now that that's set, we do need to set our counter to zero. So I'm going to actually come down here where it says negative, point, negative 1.43 feet. I'm going to double click this. It's going to bring up our set counter. Um, and then I already have this set to zero, but if you had to set to something else, you could actually just highlight it, delete it, whatever you need to do to get it set to zero, and then just click OK. So for this scan, I'm going to be running around 4 inches per second. The maximum recommended speed is actually 14 inches per second. If you go above that, you do risk uh, losing picture quality as well as actual picture frames. Now that we have everything good and set to go, I do want to go ahead and just kind of show you. I'm going to open up both of these cameras. Over here on the left, we actually have the ability to adjust our brightness. So I can bring these up a little bit if we're in a really dark pipe or something larger than what we're currently in. Um, and you'll see we kind of get a little too much white going on there, starting to blow out our image. So I'm going to bring that down to a nice healthy balance. Gain is something you can use. I don't necessarily recommend it as it does kind of degrade the image a little bit, but it is kind of like a digital amplification of the image that can be useful in certain situations. Um, but you do start to get more of that pixelation that's not really um, the best tool in most cases. So I would definitely lean more on the flash. All right, so now we've got zero feet set. We're ready to get started here. So I'm gonna actually, you'll notice I cannot select this icon until I close these cameras. So I'm actually gonna click this camera off icon here. And we are going to start our section scan. It's gonna bring up a prompt. It's gonna ask us, um, you know, if we're doing a forward or reverse scan, I'm actually going forward on this one. It's going to ask us, you know, if we want to do a reverse inspection, tilt measurement, if we're in an oval pipe, all of this is selectable here as well. It's going to ask us the pipe diameter. So I currently have this set for 12. That's correct. I do have the 108 wheels on here as well. So everything's kind of pre-configured for me in this scenario, but you might have to make changes on your own. And over here, it's just kind of showing us the path that is already illustrated here at the top bar. So we've got section 01 is the section number. It's currently in the Panorama training folder, and this is the master directory, so it's just on our desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click Start. It's going to ask if we want to start with the wheel sensor. I want to say yes, and then making sure that we have these correct wheels mounted. So yes, 108 is correct. And you will see we do have two gray screens. Um, this is actually taking individual pictures, so it's not like a regular video. Uh, so we're only going to get pictures as we start to move here. So... I'm going to actually start driving this tractor, and you're going to start to see these pictures populate, you know, get an idea of what we have going on. So I just want to make a quick note here before we get started. We did start this scan with the wheel sensor that came up on the dialog. Um, we're actually going to only use that wheel sensor until we get all of the slack out of our cable as we drive down this pipe, and then we want to transition over to the winch counter. Um, so we're getting a, a more accurate read on our footage distance. So then once I get so far into this pipe, I'm actually just going to toggle the switch to winch sensor here, and we're going to carry on with our scan from there. There we go. See, we've got our distance rolling up here. I'm staying close to about four inches per second. And we've got both our rear image here as well as our front. Moving on down the line. So I'm going to run about... 10 feet here. I don't want to go too crazy because it's not going to be that exciting. We have a pretty straightforward pipe here at Rapid View. All right. 
kind of approaching the end here, so I'm going to slow it down. All right, so we hit about 10 feet. I'm actually going to go ahead and click this. It's going to stop our scan. And then we have the ability to end the scan. I'm going to click End Scan. It's going to ask if we want to confirm that. Say yes. And then you'll see it all kind of goes away. Um, we can go up here to the viewer. It's actually going to access this directory we currently have set. So I can click on Panorama Viewer On. And we can kind of see this is what we recorded. So using the controls here, right-clicking to move down the pipe. Um, in this upper section, that'll move forward. In the lower section, it'll move backwards. Uh, and then with the left click, we can actually kind of circle around here. It'll just kind of move in the direction of the arrow in this image. So this is essentially what a panorama view looks like of the pipe. We can kind of move down, look at any defects, joints, anything like that, right? And have a full 360 view of every individual section of the pipe. All right, and over here it does pop up this help dialog. I can turn this off, um, but I just currently have it set to come up every time. But I'm just going to close these menus for now and just go straight into creating your IPF file. So that's F as in fish, not to be confused with the IPS file as S in, as in snake. So uh, currently we're, we're utilizing an IPS as in snake file. Um, and I want to generate an IPF to be utilized with the software. So I open up this create IPF file button here. It brings up the dialog. It tells us what our current project directory is, as well as where this film is going to be uh, saved. And then we see we've got our S01 object here. It's got a 10 foot length to it, a diameter of 12 inches, all these details that we kind of uh, put into the software. And we currently do not have a film or an unfolded view. So I want to go ahead and generate this. Everything looks good. I've got all my options selected. I'm just going to click start. See, it zips right through there. Not a whole lot of pipe to go through, so it's pretty quick. And then I can go ahead and close. So from here, we're actually going to, I'm going to show you where the IPF ended up going and kind of what that does for you. So I'm going to click in the Panorama training folder that's on my desktop. So it's the same folder we're looking at here. Let's double click that guy. You'll notice we've got a folder here named S01. This is my IPS file. So you'll see we've got the individual images from the back camera the individual images from the front camera, and then our wrapping images as well. Um, so this is basically the IPS is accessing all these individually and doing a lot of heavy lifting. Um, the IPF is sort of a more of a, a full package deal, so we don't need all those individual images. So if I just double click this, it's gonna open up the same viewer, um, but all of that's basically ingrained in one file format. So once again, kind of the same thing where I can just move forward, move backward, left click, can kind of move around the pipe. And that's essentially it for the mainline scan. I'm going to go ahead and swap on the manhole camera now, and we're going to do a panorama SI scan as well.